Sitting in this room, ten dollar room, really quite a wonderful room. It's uh, concrete walls, no pictures on the wall. I always wonder why they don't put pictures on the wall. I mean, it's such a cheap thing to do to make it uh, be a fifty dollar room. <laughs> okay. The difference between a fifty dollar room and a ten dollar room is the pictures on the wall, really. Uh, it's those loving things they put around the thing, the, the glossary thing. And they give me a horrible room, which is hot. No, no, the minimum requirements, a desk, a table, a chair, uh, a place to hang my clothes. But they make it all beautiful. Then I really feel betrayed. Okay, I'm in a $10 room in Togo, West Africa. The, the city of Dapong is in the north. It's a pretty Islamic area. So it's quite fun to flirt with Islamic girls. I'm supposed to call him Muslim, I'm sorry. Let's see. There's a, some kind of political correctness, I always get one. I wrote a book, and I'm going to talk about the blurb. A blurb is where you, your friends write these little, you know, these guys of respect write these little things about you. So it, when you write a book, it's, my book's called The Rules of Travel, and I'm almost ready to publish it. It's taken forever to finish one book because I started three other books and decided that oh, my first book's got to be important. Right? So I wrote one of my friends, and I'm not going to tell you his name, and he's quite famous. He's even been on the Travel Channel. And uh, he wrote back, uh, you know, the guy don't really write. He writes, uh, he writes a newsletter. My mom will know who this guy is, too, because she's really upset with him. Um... <coughs> I really, you know, this is really betrayal in a way. It's kind of funny because I helped this guy many times, and he, he basically just jumps off my my travel skills. Now he thinks he's above me, right? And the thing is, is he don't really travel. He uh, basically is always in California or something like that. Really lost. The, he lost the plot. Okay, I write a blurb. Uh, and I, I wrote, said, please, can you write a blurb of, like, why, why read Hobo Travel? Or write, why read Andy Graham, Andy Lee Graham? <coughs> and he wrote a thing back, congrats on the book. So, the kiss, right? He gives me the kiss, and then he says, I am swamped. I, can got, I cannot get around to it for at least a month. <laughs> You're sitting there going, oh, I want to quote the guy in the book. <laughs> this is this is this is better than a blurb. I mean, this is better than him saying something nice to me by illuminating the fact that he says, I'm, you know, a blurb is three lines, like it's a one-liner, like Andy's, you know, he's a traveler that's proved that he can travel, right? All you got to do is say something like Andy's traveled for 16 plus years. Really hard to debate with the guy. <coughs> he's on the ground, 90 countries, blah 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 blah. And, uh, of course, now, this guy, probably what he's really saying is, I don't want to be attached to you because you're no longer high enough celebrity that I can jump on. Okay? <laughs> I, I don't want you to steal any of my, uh, my juju juice, my, my fame juice. And, which is, the guy's really out of control, right? He, he's lost the plot. He, he's constantly trying to show where he's in a five-star hotel and all this stuff, and he's, he, he, he wants to be marketable. And basically, I'm in West Africa. I'm not going to sell tours to Paris, right? It's not... It's not that I shouldn't be able to sell tours. Obviously, I'm a much better traveler than him, and I've been to Paris, but I'm not going to constantly do the, the trip that I don't want to do so I can sell the tour. See, it's a prostitution. This is what travel writers get into. They get into this prostitution thing where they have to go to these resorts because that's who pays for advertising, right? But guess what? This is a $10 hotel. They don't buy advertising. So, if I really want to sell advertising, i got to go stay in the complement 
which is a bullshit hotel full of a, it's got a steel roof, guys. And it's got these big elephants out front out of wood, and it's got all this stuff, and it's got all this glossy bullshit stuff, and it's overpriced. It's like three times the price, and I don't want to live there because there's nothing really African about it. I don't want to talk to French people in Africa. I want to talk to African people. I don't mind going there and talking to the French people, but I don't want to, to sabotage the trip. But this guy... I, I want to quote him in the book, and I'm really debating whether I should quote him in the book, and I'd really like to use his name. Hey, he's a big, big celebrity. I'm swamped. This is, this is not what travel should do. Travel should never make you so busy that you can't sit there and have the time to muse. The wonderful thing about travel is it, it re erases all these creature things around you and you can sort of focus. And uh, obviously the guy's completely lost the plot. He's so captured by the rat race. And, and the, the race for celebrity and fame and, and stuff that he lost it. I really would love to put this blurb. But I've sort of promised a few of these travel writers that I won't tweak them, I won't edge, I won't go after them because I won't, I won't tell them that the, the king has no clothes. Because the king of travel writers very seldom travel. They're so busy, blah, 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 promoting themselves that they, they don't have time to do what I do. And uh, it's a prioritization, right? But, you know, they want to be famous and I want to I travel. I love travel while well, they love fame. I don't give a shit about fame. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to make a, one of these videos about my mom calls me a potty mom. My mom got really, you know, she, she's watching my videos now and she sees that I cuss once in a while. And I think there's value in cussing. I'm sp probably supposed to use the word profanity, aren't I? Okay, so this guy, can you guess his name? Is too busy. He swamped. To, he's too busy to write a three-liner, a two-liner. A one-liner would have worked, right? A two-liner would be okay. A three-liner would be good. But really what you want is a one-liner. He's too busy to come up I mean, when somebody asks me to do this, I just sit there, boom, 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 I'm done. It takes me five minutes, and I wouldn't even, even writing the email takes longer than I think. Because I can think of a one-liner on about any of my friends, because, uh, you know, it's just thinking of one, one thing that you respect about him as a travel writer. I, I'm not, I, I do respect him as a travel writer for certain things, but... Uh, I think he just lost all my respect because of the, the ingenuous nature of travel writers. Oh, I love these guys. They make me want to travel. Anything but them. I want to be anybody but them. Tonight, let's flip a coin.